Hello people, this is George with yet another Call of Dragons video. Today we will be speaking regarding one of the most underrated uh, legion type in the game, which is infantry. Well, we already did about marksmen, we already did about mages, and today it's time to do regarding infantry. And in my opinion, infantry is one of the most underrated playstyle in the game. And why? I will speak about that uh, during this video. First of all, <clears throat> we need to understand that uh, infantry is all about defense, right? Staying strong, not dying easily, and there is a one important feature in the game uh, which is called counter-strike damage, and by to dealing a lot of counter-strike damage, that's how you mainly deal damage to the enemies. But, because... Uh, Infantry is like one of the lowest march speed units in the game. Infantry has many different ways uh, to be successful in the game. First of all, you can use infantry uh, units uh, for building stuff for your alliance. And as I, as I always speak, alliance is one of the most important things in the game to be successful, to have fun to engage in wars, to engage in destroying enemy towers, and so on. So I, I always suggest to get uh, the strongest alliance in the game and try to uh, apply there and try to enjoy playing with many people together. Uh, regarding increasing engineering, it's a great addition to the infantry unit. Plus, infantry is always needed in behemoths elite ones, normal ones, and I have been in uh, many wars, uh, like 100 pe people versus 100 people, infantry always important, like, whenever enemies uh, are losing their infantry, that means the war is winning side, like, whenever my alliance is attacking somebody, and we are killing their infantry really easily, that means we can attack mages and marksmen, uh, easily without defend, defense of the infantry, right? So, infantry is really important and it's not uh, it's not boring to play as an infantry like we I understand there is a lot of people who like to kill many people uh, to gain merits uh, like legions, right? But, uh, infantry, there is a way to deal damage with counter-attack uh, there is a fun in tanking the elite and normal behemoth, uh, and also it's also fun to not. Uh, it, so it's not, it's not, it's it's also fun that you are not going to die pretty easily, right? Um, regarding uh, unit advantage system, well, as I always speak regarding that, infantry counters uh, marksmen. Uh, infantry counters cavalry because whenever infantry is hitting they are getting march speed reduction and mages are, mages are countering infantry well this, this is pretty obvious because mages have the longest range in the game and by having the longest range in the game uh, infantry is the slowest uh, unit type in the game so it's really hard for infantry uh, to get to the mages right but infantry is not one versus one dueling uh, units, in my opinion. Where if you are dueling enemies which are infantry two, two that can be fun. But uh, infantry is all about mass fights, it's all about wars. And trust me, uh, infantry sometimes decide uh, how war is gonna end up, right? Like if you imagine T5 uh, infantry with a... Uh, Madeline and Nika awakened, that deals a lot of damage. That's like actually you, you should not hit infantry because it will deal a lot of damage to yourself, right? So there is a ways uh, in the game to make infantry in a way that it will be tankier and it will deal a damage too. So this, you, I, would, I would agree uh, I, I did not agree with the marksman, did not have agree with the mages, but I would agree with the unit advantage system on the infantry one because yes, sure, in my with my open eyes and I I already played this game like more than seven months, 
and infantry counters cavalry but because of the range with the marksmen and mages and because of the low movement speed in general they are countering infantry easily like in my opinion Nico and Kinara with the marksmen uh, with defense break both uh, both heroes are about defense break they are dealing a lot of damage to infantry but as I said you can uh, defeat and tank behemoths you can uh, be very useful in wars and you can help your alliance to build towers pretty easily and destroy tower, enemy towers pretty easily with infantry. Uh, regarding uh, heroes, there is like two styles of playing with infantry. One, as I already spoke, which I think is one of the uh, best one regarding infantry is meddling with Mika. Uh, you won't be like one of the most tankiest with this build bug, but you will deal a lot of counter-attack damage. Here, counter-attack damage bonus, uh, and also here, counter-attack damage bonus. Also, Madeline is one of the bet better heroes in the game, just simply because you have additional legion capacity. That means like you are, you have more troops, and your troops are dealing a lot of counter-attack damage. And in my opinion, this is the way to go. But there is other ways of play playing infantry too. Um, this uh, Madeline and Nika is all about dealing damage and being uh, like semi-tank. But here is also Garwood, which is uh, main like most tankish. Uh, infantry uh, hero in the game and as you, as, as you can already understand because of healing because of uh, defense and no counter-attack damage this uh, hero is all about staying alive <clears throat> in my opinion there is a couple of ways of playing with Garwood uh, Garwood with Awakened Eliana is great because Awakened Eliana is getting a lot of sh uh, shields uh, and damage reductions uh, to the Legion and shielding and healing with Garwood is amazing. Also, there is uh, one more plus regarding Garwood. Uh, infantry units can garrison, right? And regarding garrison, uh, Garwood is very interesting one to choose, but not the best one. In my opinion, for garrison infantry, Bahar and Eliana is a great, great pair. Very underrated. And again, there is another way of playing infantry, right? Being Having a garrison, great garrison units. So, uh, regarding heroes, there is uh, Madeline and Nika. Uh, there is Garwood with Eliana. It's all about healing. Uh, Madeline and Nika is all about uh, counter-attack damage. Uh, and also regarding Garrison, there is Bahar and there is Eliana for a great Garrison pair. And of course, you can always put Eliana, I'm, I'm sorry, Garwood is a primary for Garrison 2 and Eliana is a secondary. So, uh, as I said, uh, there is many choices for you to play as an infantry in the game and many different ways for you to be successful and have fun in the game. Regarding uh, artifacts for uh, infantry, there is a couple of ones, right? And I will go step by step uh, and show you which we can actually get from the, uh, the chest, from the compendium. Uh, first of all, there is like Spring of Silence. This is great artifact, great legendary artifact, uh, which I got. And I'm pretty happy uh, with it because it's slowing enemies. And when if when you are a lowest movement speed uh, legion with infantry, and it's important for you to slow enemy marches. This is great one. Uh, also, there is Dragon Rift. Dragon Rift Rift is like more uh, damage type. Uh, also great one, like as you can see, infantry has two great uh, legendary uh, artifacts in the game. One is Spring of Silence, second is Dragon Rift. Regarding uh, uh, epic ones, uh, as I remember um, and as I know, there is not a like, clear cut as a head purser for marksmen, but I always uh, use the Butcher's Blade, like that's the obvious one, like you are getting infantry unit attack and your, your skill is just dealing damage. But 
uh, like if you don't have any other choice then you're gonna go a codex of prophecy just because of the uh, defense of the infantry and shield the skill is giving you so regarding artifacts the butcher's blade and codex of prophecy is epic ones and regarding uh, infantry ones like dragon rift is great uh, spring of silence is great uh, Kurata's Rush is like one of the most badish uh, artifacts. Uh, also, there is one which is not here, uh, and if it's not here, uh, like we are not generally, we are not speaking regarding that, but I can show you from here, it's Dragon Scale, which is like main infantry defense artifact, like both stats are defensive, the skill is defensive, so this is a third choice in my opinion. Uh, we move to uh, regarding war pits, and I have like almost uh, every I, I have video like almost every war pit video guide in my channel. Uh, but I will like generally say what will be good in the infantry marches. Uh, first of all, I think uh, frost beer is great. Uh, on any infantry, uh, the Stripe Bear is amazing for Garwood and Eliana because of healing and the main friendship skill of Stripe Bear is uh, about healing. Uh, Frost Bear is about shields uh, and it's all about <clears throat> armor, right? So, like, Frost Bear and Stripe Bear is, like, mainly the main ones for the infantry, in my opinion. Uh, we already spoke regarding war situations, we already spoke regarding heroes, we talked regarding artifacts, and we discussed the war pits. This is my idea about infantry playing with the infantry style. Um, I'm doing videos mainly as a free-to-play player. I did not even spend one dollar yet. I'm in a season two, uh, and I, I like playing this game, and I will continue doing videos in the future too. Thanks for watching. Uh, I hope my videos are helping you guys. Bye-bye.